Good day guys! Our topic for today is parts of the computer system. There are four parts of the computer system. Hardware, software, data, and user. Hardware, a mechanical device in the computer. Processing devices, the brain of the computer. Memory devices, store data or programs. Input and output, allows user to interact. Storage devices, holds data and programs permanently. System software, most important software. Application software accomplishes a specific task. Hardware is the set of physical components that a computer system must have in order to work. It includes the motherboard, graphics card, CPU or the central processing unit, ventilation fans, webcam, power supply, and other circuit board components that work within a PC or a laptop and anything that can be touched. Processing Devices Motherboard The main circuit board that connects to many different components. CPU The brain of the computer Carries instructions from program Manipulates the data Examples of CPU are Intel i-series and AMD Ryzen series. Most computers have a multiple processors, secondary processors. Processors are made of silicon and copper. The interaction between CPU and the secondary processors are like interaction between boss and the subordinate. The boss, which is the CPU, that tells to the subordinate what to do, but not necessarily how to accomplish the task. And the subordinate acts like a support that only bothers when guidance or more data is needed. Software tells the computer what to do, also called a program. Memory devices, random access memory or RAM. It is volatile, stores current data and programs. More RAM results in a faster system. Read-only memory, or ROM. Permanent storage programs. Holds the computer boot direction. Intel and AMD are the manufacturer of those CPU and originally made RAM for mainframe and mini computers. Today, Leading RAM producers are Corsair, G-Skill, Kingston, and HyperX. Input and Output Allows the user to interact. Input Devices Accepts data. Keyboard and mouse. Input Devices Delivers data. And monitor, printer, and speaker. Some devices are input and output, like touchscreens. Storage devices, different from RAMs. Magnetic storage, storage drive like SSD or solid state drive and HDD like hard disk drive. Uses magnet to access data. Optical storage, CD and DVD drives. Uses a laser to access data. System Software Operating System Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Chrome OS Network Operating System Microsoft Windows Server 2003 and 2008 Unix, Linux, Mac OS X, Novel Netware, and BSD Utility Avast, Semantic Antivirus, AVG, Avira, and SZ32 Application software 
most common type of software. Microsoft Office covers the most common uses of computers. Tells the computer what to do. Also called a program. Thousands of programs exist in a computer. Data. It can be organized into files. Parts of system software. Contents. System software, application software, educational software, entertainment software, open source software, and proprietary software. System software is a sort of computer program that manages the hardware and applications on a computer. The system software is the interface between the hardware and the user applications. If we think of the computer system as a layered model, the most well-known example of system software is the operating system. The operating system is in charge of all other programs on a computer. It, is, it has a direct control and access to your computer hardware and memory locations. And they perform I.O. operations on multiple memory regions and control the hardware in order to allow application program to perform a task. The most common examples of system software are operating systems. These are the examples of system software. Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, Unix, DOS, BIOS Software, Device Driver Software, Link Linker Software, Assembler and Compiler Software. For application software, it consists of programs that instruct a computer on how to collect data. The application software runs in the background of the operating system and is designed to perform a specific task like word processing, etc., which have access to the hardware in an addition to other things. General Purpose System Software This category includes common software packages that are found on most of the desktop computers. Chrome, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, MySQL, Microsoft PowerPoint, iTunes, PLC Media Player, Dota, Adobe Photoshop. Word Processing Documents are created and printed using word processing software. One of the most appealing features of word processing software is the ease with which users may make changes to documents. Electronic Spreadsheets The spreadsheet software allows the user to add and subtract as well as perform user-defined calculations on rows and columns of numbers. These numbers can be changed and the spreadsheet will quickly recalculate new results. Presentation Graphics The Presentation Graphics software allows the user to create documents called slides that will be used to create the presentations. Using special projection devices, the slides are displayed as they appear on the computer screen. Database Software This allows the user to center, retrieve, and update data in an organized and efficient with capacities of flexible information and reports. Special Purpose System Software This software was developed for a specific purpose. There are thousands of specialized applications available to perform tasks such as keeping business accounts, stock control information, payroll, 
general practice management and appointments. Educational softwares, software that can be used for learning purposes, in Carta Encyclopedia, Google Classroom, Dictionary. Open source software is a computer software, the source code of which is available under a license that allows user to use, change, improve, and distribute the software in a modified or unaltered form. Proprietary software, also called non-free software, is software with restrictions on use, copying, and modification imposed by the owner. Restrictions on use, modification, and copying are achieved by legal, technical means, and sometimes both. The proponents of proprietary software are Microsoft, example, AutoCAD, Antivirus, Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, Adobe Photoshop, Corel Draw, WinRAR, Skype, and Microsoft Office. For more videos, please like, share, and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.